What's up, guys? Back with another video. Um, I was at work this morning. And I'm just I'm just cycling through the propaganda, and as you know, I love to read the propaganda so that I can understand the people that are actually printing the propaganda. And one thing that I've noticed about places like the Toronto Star, CTV, CBC, etc., especially Global News, by the way, especially Global News, like number one is Global News for misinformation propaganda. But um, one thing I've noticed, a common thread with all of these organizations is that um, they're the ones that are complaining about misinformation and disinformation, yet they're the ones that have been completely inaccurate and wrong and taken the word, uh, taking uh, the government's mandates and words for it, um, and just looking like complete idiots as this whole thing unravels. And I'm posting this video to YouTube, so I won't get into that too much. But here's the piece of propaganda that I read from the Toronto Star today, which, by the way, was promoting the tax on the unvaccinated people. And really thought that was a great idea before the truckers showed up. But anyways, today they printed this article, uh, which should be viewed as an opinion. But I don't, I don't know. I couldn't read the whole thing because I'm not going to pay for fucking propaganda. But I thought this was funny enough to post. Anyways, no, hundreds of Canadians have not died from the COVID-19 vaccines. Where does this myth come from? And uh, in the subcategory, an Alberta politician was the latest to cite figures that experts say are widely misused to cast doubt on the safety of vaccines. Widely misused. It's weird how, like, when there's real legitimate concerns and people want to discuss them in a public domain, like a democratic society, for example, there's a media like Toronto Star and Alex Boyd, this idiot reporter here, who uh, has to cite unnamed experts who say it's widely misused. So it's almost like they're trying to grab the authority of what you're allowed to believe and rip it from you at the moment you start even asking questions, which is very, very fucking strange. But anyways, you can, as you can see in the little bit of uh, sneak preview they gave uh, here in a cycle that was now because that has now become familiar the tweet drew a storm of criticism and then was deleted what tweet the alberta politicians tweet i'm guessing um alberta politician brian john had claimed that quote data from health canada says that up to and including june 24th there were a total of 355 reports of death following vaccination now again guys as i said i'm not gonna fucking pay for this propaganda I'm not going to do that. So these motherfuckers and the idiots that actually pay for it are going to be doing their own echo chamber uh, until fucking, I don't know, they get myocarditis and die or something. But anyways, the key thing is Alberta politician Brian John had claimed that, quote, data from Health Canada says that up to including June 24th, there was a total of 355 reports of death following vaccination. Now, that that's not misinformation. That's not misused. But the data that he's citing is what they're talking about being misused. And this is from Health Canada Info Base, Canada.ca, up to and including, now this is June 20, or July 22nd now, uh, 366 reports with an outcome of death were reported following vaccination. Although these deaths occurred after being vaccinated with COVID-19 vaccine, they are not necessarily related to the vaccine. Based on the medical case review using the World Health Organization UMC casualty access, assessment categories, it has been determined that 204 deaths could not be assessed due to insufficient uh, information. So that's over two-thirds of, uh, of the reported deaths that they literally did not assess. So there's no clarification whatsoever because of people like this. You know, they've got their conclusion already ready for you so that you don't ask these questions. But literally in the Health Canada government data, it says 204 of these uh, deaths could not be assessed due to insufficient information. Why? Because the person's fucking dead. <laughs> They're not giving them information, more information. They, could, they fucking died. All right. 112 reports of deaths are unlikely linked to a COVID-19 vaccine. Zero explanation we're supposed to take their word for, and if we ask any more questions, refer to fucking propaganda piece number one. And 50 reports of deaths are still under investigation, so they could end up being that. So if we do the math here, guys, uh, we're looking 204 plus 112, that's uh, 100, or 316 plus 50, that's 366. So they basically ruled out every single report of death following vaccination literally you know 50 are still on investigation but they're probably going to end up in one of the top two categories because we're not fucking looking for deaths because they want to put a third and fourth and fifth shot into you but anyways i just wanted to bring that up guys 
Another uh, side note here to this is you can actually look at the total number of events that are reported, and you can you can imagine these are underreported because of all the propaganda saying that you shouldn't be feeling this way about something that you got under government coercion. But uh, we still got a, a serious uh, amount of people uh, experiencing problems following vaccination that I'm not going to be able to get into. And one of them, hilariously so, is COVID-19 itself. So people, 658, uh, you would think if, um, if this was an adverse event, as the government's own data is telling you, it is getting COVID-19 after vaccination is an adverse event, uh, you would think that... Um, Maybe there's going to be uh, a couple million of those fucking adverse events in the next year or two because, uh, as we know, everyone who's vaccinated is still catching COVID. So I just think that's hilarious. It's obviously not 658. It's fucking thousands, tens of thousands of people after getting vaccinated or getting COVID. But anyways, neither here nor there. I just wanted to bring it up. Because uh, people are talking about, uh, you know, oh, you shouldn't be thinking that Canadians are dying from the COVID-19 vaccines. But uh, when you look into, uh, this is CTV Calgary, so they're talking about Alberta, the top 10 causes of death in Alberta in 2021. Look at number one, ill-defined and unknown causes. That's kind of weird that the number one, uh, the number one cause of death in Alberta in 2021, the year of the vaccine, is uh, unknown cause. That's kind of funny, isn't it? More than COVID-19, I should mention. As you can see, number three is COVID-19. Dementia, um, which is it's weird. I didn't realize people actually, you know, I, people die, of course, with dementia. But do they die of dementia? That's another thing that uh, is a little weird. But, uh, you know, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know anything about that. But I just found it funny that there's uh, unknown cause as the number one death. You know, it's not cancer. It's not heart, heart disease. It's not COVID. It's unknown causes. And COVID-19 is number three, which is just un unbelievable. So, you know, you could uh, you could put two and two together to see what uh, that means to you. But uh, uh, the key uh, thing to think about here is that uh, it's going to be an unknown cause. It's not going to be linked to the vaccine. And you're going to see the same propaganda networks that are talking about misinformation and disinformation redirecting legitimate questions that may not be the answer like for example people may not be dying from covid but asking the quest or be dying from the vaccine but asking the question is what should be allowed in a democratic society and then getting answers through a vigorous investigation is uh, what we need to see here but we see propaganda networks that are trying to grab hold of the uh, uh, authoritative uh, reasoning on information uh, we're seeing these same organizations try to stop you from asking the questions that you can answer uh, by, you know, putting two, to, two and two together and figuring it out for yourself. But anyways, guys, uh, that's enough of this. Uh, I just got off work. I got a weekend ahead of myself. So uh, let's get uh, uh, let's get out of here and uh, have a good uh, day. And don't forget to take it easy. But take it.